What is up? It is me, ya boy, Flaming Grays. Despite popular belief, I am not dead. I was actually just in school, which is pretty dang close. If you guys have been wondering why I've been gone for like half a year, it's because I've been having to work on calculus and lots of schoolwork. It's just been taking up a lot of my time, but I'm currently on Christmas break, so I don't have to do any calculus homework right now, which is pretty nice. Dog, why are you so close? Okay, cool. I guess she's part of this now. So now that it's Christmas break, I have time to actually work on my projects. And I finished this right before Christmas break, actually. And unfortunately, I didn't film the first half of it, which is why I have to do this intro. Where I'm going to explain kind of what I did uh, for the first part that I didn't film. And then I started filming it later. And so we'll just get to that. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that like the second project I ever did was a mountain board, which does not look like this. It looks like a snowboard, but worse. Uh, dog. There were a couple problems with it, like number one being it was way too long, and it was also too thin, so it was just super unstable. And the other problem was that I... S you done? The other problem was that I sprayed it with a uh, furniture lacquer, so when it got wet, uh, it just kind of frayed apart and got crunchy and crackly, and it wasn't protected like it was supposed to. So I just cut it up and I stored it on these shelves for a couple months, until I got around to removing all the hardware from it. So instead of using that deck, I decided to do it right and just make myself a nice deck. And this one is thicker, shorter, and I sprayed it with the right uh, finish, so it's waterproof. So the first thing that I did after I took the trucks off the old deck was I noticed that my welds were absolutely garbage. And so I grounded them off the best I could and I re-welded them. And I mean the entire thing is held together by bolts, so it shouldn't fall apart. But it just looks a lot nicer than it did before and it makes it just a little bit stronger. So the part that I didn't film was when I started making the deck. And so what I did was I took a big old sheet of like 16th inch Baltic birch plywood and I just cut a bunch of 40 by 10 strips out of it. And then I had to take it to a mold that I made. The mold was really simple to make. All it was is just two pieces of scrap wood. It doesn't really matter what it is. And you put some like 12 inch blocks of wood in between them and just screw it all up together and your mold's basically done. I did have to drill some holes in it for the clamps, but I just used a fortuner bit, but you could use a hole saw or whatever you really want. Hey boy. So after I made the mold, all I really did for the deck was I just put glue in between each layer and then I clamped it down uh, using some like 14 inch boards on top of it. And then I just let it dry for like two days. Then for the design on the top, which you don't need to do this at all, I took some pieces of veneer and I took it to my school's laser cutter and I cut it out of uh, my YouTube logo and then some flames because you know flaming rays wow very creative I know and then my school has a vacuum bag and so we just stuck it in there and it just pressed it all onto the deck and it worked uh, pretty good I won't say it worked flawlessly because there was a problem but I'll get to that at the end of the video but all you really need to know is like you don't need to do this like if you want just Make a stencil, spray paint it, and it'll look just as cool. Maybe even cooler. But for now, this is the part where I actually started filming it. So I'll just show you guys me cutting it out and finishing up the deck and finishing up everything. And then I'll come back to you at the end of the video to explain a little bit more stuff. Dogs!
we know that, we're not going to use this engine. I guess I can just rip it off. There we go. <laughs> and now let's clean up all this and re-weld it with some actual good welds. Well, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A couple things that I should mention. Um, the big issue that happened with the vacuum bag was when we put it in, the pressure was so strong that I wanted to pull the board flat instead of having it curve up. And so if you look on the back, it kind of made this crack right here, which is not very good. So in the future, I'm going to put a big steel brace on both sides. That should solve the problem because it's a lot harder to bend steel than it is to bend a piece of wood. And that's also why there's this thing right here. Dog, shut up. And that's also why there's this uh, strip right here of veneer. Um, because of when it folded it down and it came back up, it kind of wrinkled it and it made it look ugly. And so this is the best way that I could fix it. Ideally, this wouldn't be here, but it's the best I could do. Also, this big thing right here, you don't need this. This is useless. But in the future, I plan to put an engine on it. And I made a video on that forever ago and i said I'd make a part two to it and this is kind of the part two because i actually finished up the deck um 
but in the next video on this i plan on putting on the engine and finishing up the brakes and then it should work pretty good because for now it's just a mountain board and they're usually used by like you go off a mountain and you just use gravity to go down but i want to be able to like go up hills and not have to carry it up because it's kind of annoying so if you're interested in that i would subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video i have no idea when it's going to come out though because like i said i'm really busy with school and everything but I'm, I'm really trying to make these videos come out. It's not like I don't want to upload videos. It's just that I can't. But like even right now, once I finish recording this, I'm going to finish up the suspension on the buggy. And then that video will be coming out in maybe a month. I don't know. Hopefully sooner. But with school and everything, I don't think it will. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. And I'll see you all next year. Oh, I almost forgot. I also have merch available now. Now, I'll put a link in the description actually so you guys can actually find my store, but I have like everything. I have like backpacks, shirts, hoodies, and there's also stickers. I don't make any money off stickers, but if you guys want to rep the brand, I guess, uh, you can pick some of those up. And it's a good way to support me and get something cool out of it. For real this time though, uh, have a good new year, a Merry Christmas, and all that, and I'll see y'all later.